hey guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to be making this beautiful skirt with basket weave design so if this is something that you like to learn kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you so this is the fabric that we'll be using for this tutorial but we are going to set it aside for now so for this tutorial the measurement you need is your waist measurement your hip measurement your knee measurement and your skirt length so this is a short skirt so the skirt length is not going to be long and we are going to be using the beginning of the pattern paper as our um waist measurement so this skirt is going to have waistband so i'm just going to deduct two inches which is going to serve as what i'm going to use for waistband so i'm trying to measure the length of this skirt so the length we are going for is 30 inches um 31 inches like i said it is a short skirt so it's not going to be long so we are going for 31 inches and i added one inch for seam allow for emmy allowance so i'm just going to mark that across the paper and just form a straight line on it like so so after doing that i'll go to the waistline which is the beginning of my fabric of my pattern paper i will mark out my hip line my hip line is 10 inches then i'm going to mark out my um, knee length of um 25 and half inches so after marking that out i will measure that across the line as well and form a straight line there So I'll just go ahead to make um, to label my lines. That's my knee length, and um, I'll label the upper line, the hip line, then the um, lower line, the full length. Remember, I said our waist line is um, the beginning of our pattern paper. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and mark my waist circumference measurement so my waist circumference is 37 inches so it's a seven inches divided by four that's um 9.25 so i'm going to go ahead and measure 9.25 uh, which is my waist circumference then after measuring that i'll go to the hip line and measure my hip circumference my hip circumference is 48 inches divided by four that's 12 inches then on the knee length, I'm just going to insert like um, about 10 inches to the knee length because I just want it to be a little bit pain. So I don't want it to be too tight. So I'll add like um, 10 inches to the knee length. Then I'm just going to use my free hand to just connect those points together like so. So as you can see, you, as you can see the shape from the hip line to the knee length, it's a little bit pain. So I don't want it to be too pain too. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is to insert my darts. So I'm going to um, measure my um, dart line, which is 4 inches. Then the dart length is 5 inches. Then I'm going to just connect them together like that. Um, connect the dart legs by a half inch on both sides. Then the one inch I'll be taking away for that, I'll add it to the side. And I'll add one and a half inch as seam allowance. So I'll add the one and a half inch to the hip line as well as to the knee, uh, as well to the knee length also to the full length. So I'm using my curve um, rule to just connect those points together. Then after doing that, I just label this um, front because this is our front panel. So now I'm going to go ahead and measure um, what we are going to use for our basket weave design. So for my knee length, I'm going to go up by one and a half inches. If you like, you can go up by two inches by three inches. It depends on what you are comfortable with. If you like, you can maintain the knee length or you can even go lower than the knee length so i'm going to make um, a straight line across like so so i will um go ahead and cut out the um skirts now so guys this is what i have this is what my front panel looks like so because if i cut off this um, basket with design i'll label it first with a uh, basket with design so after labeling it, I'm going to use this pattern to cut out my back panel. So that's what I'll go ahead and do now. 
So I've gone ahead to cut out my back panel and the difference between the front panel and the back panel is the zipper allowance. So um, now that I've cut, I've um, marked out my back panel, I've already marked the point of basket weave design on the back panel. So I'm just going to form a straight line there. So after forming the straight line, then it's now time for me to cut to separate the basket weave design from the remaining um, parts of the skirt. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. I will separate for the back and I'll separate for the front as well. So I've set the basket weave design aside. So these are the main um, um, pattern paper. So I'll go ahead and cut it on my fabric. So I've already cut this on my fabric. This is my back panel and that's my front panel. So as you can see, um, um, I folded it into two. So you have two pieces of back panel and a piece of folded front panel. I added half an inch to the upper part and the lower part of the skirt for joining to the basket with for the lower part and joining to the waistband for the upper part. So and I've gone ahead to cut out my linings as well. So the next thing is to just set this aside and continue working on our basket with design. So um, now this is our basket with design for both the front and the back panel so let's work on the front panel first so i'm going to introduce a new pattern paper to um cut on for the back panel for the front panel so as you can see i'm already folding the pattern paper so we are going to assume this new pattern paper we just introduced is um our fabric so i'm just going to fold it um properly then i'm going to place my baskets we've designed for the front panel the pattern paper will cut the other time i'm going to place it on it then i'll go ahead and pin it down so once i pin it down i will uh, mark half half inch at the down part and at the lower part of the um, pattern paper we placed on this new pattern paper so the half inch at the down part is for emmy and the half inch at the upper part is for joining to the um, other parts of the skirt so i'm just going to go ahead now to form a straight line on the half an inch that i just measured now so after forming those straight lines i'll go ahead and cut it out as you can see i didn't cut uh, I didn't had any allowance to the side and that's because we already added a seam allowance while drafting the pattern so I hope you understand um, I hope you are understanding this tutorial so far so after marking it I'm just going to notch the center then I will remove the former basket weave design um, pattern paper from the new one so this is how the new one is going to be now when we open it up so i'm going to go ahead and do the same for the back panel so guys i've repeated the same thing for the back panel as well so remember our back panel is going to be two pieces like that um, because it's going to be on fold so the next thing i'm going to do now is to continue working on the front panel so i'm just going to open up the new pattern paper for the basket weave design so i'll open it up like so so now it's time to determine the type of um basket weave design you want if you want a slanted one you can slant your lines but i don't want a slant line i want straight line so i'm going to um my, I'm going to start um, making lines vertically using 1.25 inches and when I measured the width of this ruler I realized that it is actually 1.25 inches so that's why I'm using this ruler to mark out the lines so I'm going to go ahead now and mark out this vertical line till I get to the end of this pattern paper so guys this is how it looks after marking the um, vertical line so i'm going to turn it the other way and start marking the horizontal lines as well
So we have made the baskets with design on the pattern paper like so. So I do go ahead and uh, make the design on the back panel as well. So um, I'll go and do that now. So guys, after making all the designs, this is what I have. So for the back panel, when you are making your design, make sure that your the parts you use as your zipper allowance are um like play, when you place your back panel beside each other, make sure that your zipper allowance are beside each other like so, because um these parts that you marked um your lines on are what you are going to use as the right side. So the way it is now if you place it on top of each other the zipper allowance will be aligning so please be careful while doing yours don't uh, make the mistake of not aligning the zipper allowance so now the next thing is to go ahead and start making a basket so now this is the fabric that we are going to use is about one and a half inch width and the length depends on how or depends on your basket width so now i'm going to fold it like this fold it again the other side then close up the open end like that then i'll place it on my pattern paper and start sewing when i get to my machine as i'm sewing i'll be folding i'll be folding till i get to the end of one line then i'll go ahead and do the same for the other line as well till i get to the end of these horizontal lines so i'm going to go ahead and do that now then i'll come back to show you what it looks like so guys after marking after um, attaching the fabric to the to the horizontal lines this is what we have so it's time to work on the vertical line remember when you are folding your fabric you fold in on one side fold in on the other side then you close up the folding at the center so i'll place it on the vertical lines like so the same way i did for the horizontal lines and i'll go ahead and sew it down tada this is our basket weave that we have made on all um our pattern paper we made it on the front panel we made it on the back panel so i'm going to set aside the weave for the back panel for now then i'll bring in the main bodies of our skirts so we are going to be working on the back panel first so i'm going to set aside the on the front panel first so we set aside the back panel so i will just unpin the pattern paper and open up um the main bodies of our skates but before i open it up i'm going to notch it at the center at the damp parts so i'll notch um both the lining and the fabric at the center on the damp parts so i'm going to open up the main skirt like so and remember we already notched the pattern paper the other time so i'm going to place the notched part on the um notched part of the skirt so as you can see the part where i made the weave is where we are using as our front panel as our right side so we are placing it right side facing each other make sure they are right the right sides are facing each other then i'm going to place my lining as well on it so i'll notch it now then i'll place the notch uh, part of the lining on it as well so i'm going to go ahead now to pin it down all through So now I'll take it to my machine and sew it down like so with half an inch allowance that we added the other time. Then after sewing it down there, I'll push in the basket weave like that. Then I'm going to sew my lining down to my fabric on both sides, flip it to the right side and sew it on the upper part. I'm going to take in my dart and I will do all this to my back panel as well. So after doing all that, this is what our front panel looks like. See the right side and see how neat the wrong side is. So um, the next thing we are going to do is to start removing the paper. So while removing the paper, make sure you are being very careful so that you not remove the stitch with it as well. So um, I'll just remove some of it on camera. 
so this is see the little part we have removed see how beautiful it's looking so i will remove the remaining parts of camera so once i remove it i'm going to um do the same for the back panel as well as you can see i've already even joined the zipper allowance and i've attached zipper to it so, so these are the fabric we are going to be using for um waistband so there's no power i'll have added interface to it but i'm just going to show it like this so if you want to make yours make sure you add interface so i'll attach the waistband to both the front and the back panel of the skates so guys this is what we have after removing um the pattern papers so the next thing i'm going to do now is to um clean up the down parts so as you can see the down parts there are rough edges on the down parts so i'm going to go ahead and um use my um bias strip to clean up the down parts so how do i do this i'm going to place my bias strip on um my weave on one of these piece of the weave at the end so i'm going to sew it down then i'll be sewing it till i get to the end of the weave then i'm just going to turn it to the other side and just stop stitch so that's how, how that's how we close it and as you can see i've already attached my waistband to it so i'm just going to place this fabric right side facing each other align it properly then i'm going to go ahead and take my measurement so as to shape it then i will attach hook to the um, waistband of this skirt and we are practically done with the skirt so this is the final look of the skirt so this is the front panel and this right here is the back panel and i've even gone to attach the hook as well thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial please do well to like this video and subscribe to this channel to enjoy more of this content i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys